Hey, Susan here from EPUB Tech Reviews and this is a bit different. I'm going to go over how to make a Kindle ebook and a paperback out of a Kindle Vela story. So I'm in my Kindle Vela reports right now and this is the Adventures of Winston and Big Ball. And over on the right there you can see there's Winston and his pink fuzzy dog toy called Big Ball. The story behind them is Winston is a pottery pug dog that my dad bought my mom and Big Ball is a pink fuzzy dog toy that our little miniature pincher played with. All the parties have since deceased and I wanted to honour the memory and so I created The Adventures of Winston and Big Ball. The thing to point out here is the date last modified, which was March the 4th. Why am I telling you that? You have to wait a month, a full month, before you can put this out as an ebook or a paperback. So I'm going to, I'm uh, not going to touch it but I shall add to this video later on to show you how to take it from a Vela episode and put it into your paperback. But my step today was to contact someone on Fiverr and I'm going to have 10 images drawn because I can't draw for the life of me. And I'll have 10 images, how they met, how they tried to catch an alligator, how they went on a train ride down to Key West in Florida, how they climbed a coconut tree and so on and so forth. Because it's a kiddie book and parents will enjoy reading it to the kids and uh, I wanted to make it more fun with images so we'll see how that goes. So again I will update this video with how things progress from here on out. Okay, so bye for now. Well, here I am. I am back already. I decided to, what the heck, I'll go in. And I sorted them by ascending order. I have 34 episodes and each single episode contains three 300 word stories. So there's like about a thousand words roughly per episode. So they're short stories on purpose. So what I'm going to go in here now, because I need to copy the text. So I'm going to open up a text edit file, just a new document. I'm going to move that over here. I'm going to close down that, make this fit down here. And I'm going to go into edit episode. Actually, first of all, I'm going to copy the, that, I'm going to give it a one. Then I know what's what. Edit the episode, right? And I'm going to simply select all, copy, paste, right? Then I'm going to put number two, so on and so forth. Now, what I'm going to make sure I do here is just hit the back button because I don't want it to think I have actually updated anything. But as you can see, I'm now in descending order. So I'll tell it to go ascending. And I've got here live with unpublished changes. Yeah, it's okay. I haven't done any changes. So I'm going to now go to number two. Alligator adventure. Of course, I'm not going to go through all 34 of them with you here. You'd, you'd uh, die of boredom and so on and so forth. Okay, so I shall come back after I've got all of these done and I shall see whether I have to wait another month from today because it will look like I have done something whereas all I've done is just copied text. We shall see. So I shall pause the video again, okay? Okay, I am back to say I have copied and pasted over all of my stories. There's number one. There's three parts of it. And we've got number three, so on and so forth, right? What I am happy to report here is even though it says there's three, 
with unpublished changes, I'm hoping it won't change that modification date. If so, I will have to wait another month from now, which will probably take me that long to get it together, to be honest, if I want to do this properly, right? Promote it, that is. Just realised I forgot to move the light back up. So, as I said, I have uh, copied all these over. It only took about 10 minutes, believe it or not. Oof. It's enough to make you be sick and I am now ready for putting all these into chapters inside an ebook. Let me just make sure I save that and my favorite ebook creating tool has got to be vellum. It really is excellent and there we go I've got a new update vellum you purchase for life and you, I would advise you to go for the paperback version too in other words you can buy just the ebook version or the ebook and paperback version and uh, it's about $40 more it's a one time lifetime payment and you can see I've already got and from my pen name other books it's already in there and this is a tip, if you're not importing a Word file, which I'm not, I just used text edit on my Mac, select open other, okay? Then we'll just start a new document. I hope this works, yes it did, it did. I'm going from memory here, it's been a while, okay? So, what I would do is find the text edit file, Recents, Winston and Big Bow, Bell Scrape, move it. I shall pause this in case this, oh there it is, I beg your pardon, it did do, it did move, that's good. Sometimes it tells me do you want to move it. So basically, I'm at chapter one right now, this is, needs a lot more added to the book obviously, but all I need to do is grab a hold of this this one is how Winston met Big Boss so let's just copy the whole thing there and paste it in here and you'll get to see what it looks like over here okay you can pick how you want the uh, drop capital letter to look that I don't like because that's the title actually so what I'm going to do is put this here, take that out of there, put that there, now it'll look a lot better. Right. Now here I would like to put an illustration and if you go here you can see you can add an ornamental break, an image, so on and so forth. When I get closer to getting all this done I shall take you back to this and I'll show you what extra pages we added here, how big the cover should be because I haven't even got a cover for it yet but I wanted to show you the inside of vellum I highly recommend it because let's say with all 96 chapters or however many there are when we're ready to export you don't do that when you're ready to export file no forget I said that I'm not at that stage yet it's not even titled so I shall edit this out <laughs> all right so I'll get back to you shortly when it's more filled out and I'll show you what you need to have inside of your ebook and paperback don't forget ah there you go generate I beg your pardon generate and you can do it as a generic uh, Google Book Corbo for Nook, for Apple, for Kindle. Don't be fooled to thinking you've only one print setting, you haven't. You've uh, these here, more options, all those there. That's what I wanted to show you when I was going to go to export. So right now I am uh, going to carry on filling out and getting rid of uh, double spaces and things like that. Okay, see you in a bit.